the following is to be used as additional proof uh, in addition to all the proofs I already have submitted uh, about a torture uh, I was told by experts in MK Ultra in brainwash brainwashers professional brainwashers top experts in the world to regard to all this as uh, highest MK Ultra profile ever but I deem that the average victims of MK Ultra not only have they not undergo on I'm gonna say on average one percent of what I did but the variety of the stuff that was used against me anywhere from electroshocks uh, breaking a spine and all kinds of other issues for some employment uh, institutionalizing me inside of the psychiatric hospitals and so on uh, the whole thing costed me no less than 26 years of life uh, this goes a little bit into area completely additional into what they wanted me the whole thing to look like fancy like uh, the highest MK Ultra profile ever I know I know that these are really qualified people intellectuals and everything uh, but this is just a little bit more this is a genocide this is really a game of extermination I have gone through and I did manage to go through and I managed to prove one so I'm not gonna go and demote myself in some kind of MK Ultra or something like this this is far beyond use of directed energy weapons poisoning and all kinds of stuff they involve in it it was nothing about what also these people claim to me that I have to prove just to remind myself of what's going on they involved all kinds of issues to prevent me from pushing forward the truth the proofs the actual the proofs of actual events that went on the proof uh, through the memories against electroshocks against electrocutions of my brain that I managed to actually come forward with the information you are about to hear in this audio recording which I have obtained on September the 4th of 2020 uh, I am just gonna what exactly am I, am I, I'm about to prove well this was recorded first of all in a Czech Republic in Ostrava uh, in this very hotel this hotel the name of this very hotel is Hotel Imperial as you see it right there uh, this was a very very popular destination as you as the name alone explains for British Royals uh, for Donald Trump uh, it was this very hotel that we would stay um, already at early stages I not as much they would find us cheaper places but for for the elites they would make sure they would stay in here um, but as a part of the MK Ultra this became part of something I was uh, basically taught will be rated according to my memories not that I give a shit about who's gonna rate me what because I am asking for the death penalty when it comes to these people I'm not here to play jeopardy or some kind of um, wheel of fortune game or something like this I know who I am uh, I'm a human being uh, and I want justice foremost then all others though all other issues uh, will follow on that matter the law enforcement basically that ignore me is what I want to get involved in this case I want an action uh, against these politicians against these criminals that inherited the right to abuse I guess I'm referring to the royals of course who invested in this area here if you see in in an Ostrava area greatly uh, there are many companies they have opened with idea to use the Czech Republic alone uh, as a proxy through which they would inquire they would acquire 
uh, Eastern European companies like Polish companies, Slovak companies, Ukrainian, Russian, uh, Belarusian. That's what they hoped for. Slovenian. They hoped for that because it would be through the it would go through the Czech Republic that it would be easy to, to acquire them. And they were the first target was a Czech Republic, which they have insisted it's more like them. They have seen her themselves due to facial profiling, due to what they are basically uh, more than they did in Poland and Ukraine and uh, Belarus and of course Russia and elsewhere. Uh, so this was like the main thing. And Donald Trump, as you imagine, Ivana is um, his ex-wife uh, who gave him two children, three children. Um, this was like one of the main playgrounds right here, Czechia. Okay, so this is undisputable proof about me being brought from the United States of America uh, to point out exactly right here, Florida, Miami, to for no less than 11 and a half years to Eastern Europe. This was one of the locations we would stop due to business talks, due to economic negotiations between East and West on one side of the table, Americans, Germans, French, British, Scandinavians. And on the other side, um, you know, so Australians and Canadians and so on and so forth. Uh, and on the other side you have uh, Russians, uh, Poland, and so on and so forth, right? So this is what this was all about. What I can tell you about this place here, Hotel Imperial, uh, many would get an idea that this is a hotel, a totally, totally new hotel, or they would maybe even get an idea, I don't know. I don't know what kind of idea you could get because everything you look, everything is like, totally totally everything looks like totally totally new but this is not the case with this place I started to work on this case here a few days ago I did uh, when I got uh, a hold of another audio recording about the Serbian lady whom I had met not too far from here uh, and have made conclusion decision basically that uh, I am gonna get on to this one as well that, that before I did though I walked a little bit around and I let my uh, brain go free free flow and have them free flow for a little bit uh, for me to find them so more in respect to this issue so it's a good stuff to do and the stuff I came up with was just beautiful, astonishing. For instance, I can tell you not only the lobby, that was what you see here, let's say, but also the rooms were completely, totally, totally, totally remodeled. But still, this is not a brand new hotel or anything like this. I would just love to get that interior, a lobby, this, mezzanine. This stuff, not new, this is an old hotel, Imperial, in Ostrava, uh, sometimes I believe in 98, but I would say rather maybe 99, yes, 99, uh, I think 99, 2000, the hotel was completely covered. The hotel, I did not demonstrate that again, Tamman. This is when you entrance this. This is what the rooms look like. This, this, and really this is not new. It's not new. It's not new. Beautiful, totally new conference room. Um, it's remodeled literally is remodeled in year 99 the whole building the whole building it was just covered completely huge i don't know was it vinyl i don't know what the hell they use something to cover like you know, so you know to stop the dust the, the the stuff 
I think it was 99, I think, I'm pretty sure. Why? Because when we would come first, and this is what I found, this is, I don't know if this is old room. Uh, I can tell you that old rooms were like this, dark, and they were still, I'm gonna say that they still looked really acceptable. They were not absolute, the furniture and everything. You could still, most of the hotels would just continue to use that stuff, okay? Uh, this is the new remodeled, brand new remodeled uh, conference room. But the thing about it is that um, th they were not happy about it. I mean, let me see this. They were just not happy about it. So the difference is really, really minim minimalistic. Yes, little things that made that made. Yeah, you know, it's gonna gonna show one. Little things that, however, whoever, the owners. I don't know who owns this. To tell you the truth, I have no idea. I'm just going over, finish my recording, go to the next one. Demanded for this place to be completely, completely remodeled despite that one was in a good condition insisted that this has to be like to the highest standards still and so on and so forth and so they did they remodeled one despite everything they have totally totally changed um the whole thing the whole hotel on the inside and on the outside you would not uh, even remember one. I am just thinking about something. No, not in. I, I am not going to say that. I can't say that. I was going to touch the sofas here. I'm not going to go into it, no. Uh, and they did so uh, regardless of the costs, regardless of everything. No, this was a really expensive uh, project. This was a really expensive project. The costs, the costs range from like 44 to 180 euros, something like this, whatever the, the cost might be. Uh, I think this is the most expensive hotel, uh, probably in Ostrava. And uh, it was kind about the money, how they would do this stuff and this and that. But the thing about it is, as I already have explained, um, Czech Republic is being used like a proxy against the Eastern Europe for the West. And in this area here, Buckingham Palace placed a lot of companies, all kinds of stuff. They set up all kinds of stuff right here in this, in Ostrava region, companies. Uh, and so they figure out that just so that this they would keep this hotel imperial alive by sending here and there some clientele it's not a whole lot that goes on over there but for the cost that people pay um, the place can function can operate and as I stated they do have some companies in the area this is what I was told by British alone uh, and so it goes. This is the way this thing functions. This is how it goes. About uh, the two who I am about to play the audio, since this is really for investigation purposes, none of stated here uh, is evident from recording. Uh, it's actually the, exactly the opposite. They, they, the two claim me they're a newbies, they're brand new, stuff like that. And this is something I was taught under the theatre by two lovely male and a female. Uh, will be the case if I will come up with something stupid. In other words, if I will say something like uh, really stupid, like I did, I asked a really stupid question. Uh, it was all kinds of stuff that went on in Ostrava. You don't understand. They tried. They tried badly. Um, then they would do something like this. Okay, and I'm actually really glad they did something like this because 
I hit go and I plugged in my memory for a little bit for two days I think for the last two days day two days I went over and I started to think about these two guys and my memory actually told me that before the two worked uh, first first I'm gonna go to the mail uh, he got involved in MK Ultra. I'm gonna tell you not even so early this guy this guy got in involved in MK Ultra in like nine either 97 or 98 this one was late this guy there were other guys who got involved even earlier and people got involved in it so they landed the jobs at that time in 96 even in 97 this was not a good place for work still this was everything they were closing the companies the, the new star uh, stuff started to open uh and economy somewhat pick it up but the best that you could do if you wanted to earn some money he, right here in austria and czech republic would actually become a taxi driver a cab driver this is how they were making money so i don't think this guy was doing a cab driving if he did he might have done it really shortly if he did i think he did have another job or something like this uh but i am pretty um pretty sure that he did work for several years just before landing a permanent employment at this hotel uh not too far from here actually i deem if i would call him today and say that eventually that he worked in this place here in this uh, money exchange shop i most likely would not even make a big mistake and in fact this money exchange shop that he worked might eventually have been even a travel agency it might have something to do with a travel agency but i'm not completely completely certain i know it was a small place inside i know they were doing something that i would come inside and sometimes he would get upset with me because nothing really went on but this is actually where he would work for about maybe another five years or something it's probably 98 to 2003 or something because this is where and when pretty damn soon after the hotel was completed he would land the job here this hotel imperial okay so now he might have another job that he held here in the area if he did this would be just here somewhere around the corner here somewhere in this area if that was the case but i think this here actually is the most valid factual according to my mk ultra memory memory from mk ultra description that i can basically come up with right and you are gonna hear me uh, also talking to the girl you're gonna hear the girl i was trying to um identify both of them get a recognition from them but really my claim was totally stupid and americans uh they embedded some total crazy conspiracies in it they did make sure checks they would park in bentley here and mercedes and all kinds of stuff like this uh so the american conspiracy would come to life that they would try to fuck me because it's uh imperial because it's imperial this and that and if i would follow through and this and that uh i probably really really uh would get effed if i would not have a good memory and this and that oh they brainwash on every issue okay so i want to say at this point like this i'm gonna clap to mr daniel smith and i want to say thank you very much sir um i want to say thank you very much you did an excellent job and i hope that you don't mind me doing this today when you took me back uh when the hotel was uh completely rebuilt uh to see even the difference that you pointed me out so beautifully uh in about the rooms the remodelation um, 
numbers in the fifth place. It's really, really outstanding job, ladies and gentlemen. A big applause for Mr. Daniel Smith. Um, it's like this. <laughs> uh, it's like this. The two are gonna claim me. Oh, the girl. The girl used to work here at this place here. She was a rail attendant. It did not look like this. It did not look like this. Her uniform I just found looked basically exactly like this. A check, cutie, classic check face um, from this area right there. So I met her during the train trip saw her working on the rail um probably 2002-2003 um actually even i think that she said in 2004 the hotel was completed and she's gonna try to get into job she wants in this place and the guy that i am talking to he was the one who assisted her to get the job which she learned about probably I asked him about three years later two three years later she eventually got a hotel uh, job and that's a front desk job uh, Miller Zeman who was on a train a politicians is a check rail services uh, and so this is basically I know a lot of people uh, you know thanks thanks to all this stuff uh, this is basically how that stuff happened I just love it because right now there is some stuff that goes on in some people's heads hair up and so on uh, the two decline and they promised me they would do that if I would come up with some really stupid question like I did uh, they would answer me like this and so I am really really happy they did this this time um all i have to do now is basically play this to you get it translated uh, it 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 the indicates that they both are claiming they're just there recently they're new uh and that actually really really works for me really really works for me fantastically hotel imperial right there huh I just like it and stuff like this happened at the Hotel Imperial. Once again, this stuff was recorded on September the 4th, 2020. You can see the recording basically right here. For the investigation purpose, ladies and Hey, hello hi how are you I uh, sir do you have any job openings uh, basically we do have I'll give you 
stuff where you can fill the application. You can sit right there and have this application filled and bring it back to us. I go and I sit right there in, in a lobby area right there and pretty much is what I do. I write this, uh, I complete this application. I am going to open this for better idea. Okay, I am going to fast rewind forward on writing the application. And at the end of it, what I will do is, uh, we're going to do it like this, that I will submit the whole, the total recording of everything, so you can have uh, the whole thing, so that we're not going to miss anything. This is 19 minutes. It's, it's not really about 19 minutes. It's a little waste of time here. I don't want to waste time to anybody. I'll just present along this. I'll present you the whole recording at the end of uh, at the end or what I'll do is I'll just go and I'll put the recording separately which I think is maybe even better idea it summarizes to a question how long I've been working here as I stated and the only thing I want is I want you I want I want you basically to hear the end of the stuff what what they tell There's nothing to hide about this. I don't see the Union Jack here somehow. Funny. That's all I got to say. The day I was here, really, Mercedes, Bentley, uh, big Mercedes, uh, Bentleys, large and Bentleys. I give them application. Here it is. Here is what it is. I tell them I speak few languages. Uh, here is what's written. That of them. It's 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 application. What I do is I actually go. Then I use web address to put where my uh, resume is on. And the only thing they have to do is actually type that thing on and get the whole resume, beautiful resume, from the internet. So it's very easy, very handy. But I did fill the application as well. Coronavirus. 
The girl is talking to me. I tell her I don't quite understand everything in, in Czech languages. I'm completely new here, but I do speak other seven languages. Uh, I said, I understand. Now, the day when I'm here, they are using some kind of plastic, something like this. They're talking to me through the plastic. This is another thing. Some kind of window, something like this. It's coronavirus, and they're using like a plastic uh, something here to, I guess, to protect themselves and to protect guests from possible coronavirus contamination. This was in September the 4th, 2020, I guess. I tell her I'm a fast learner, I can speak Czech language quickly. I tell her, I answer her and her question, what am I interested in? Uh, answer her with pretty much anything, uh, any opening, receptionist, whatever it is. I could even work in your dining room, whatever it takes. Rooms, whatever, service. That they're gonna give this to the manager, that the manager is not there. Thank you very much. I say, the gentleman is here already for many years, but I'm really intimidated at this point because of something else that went on that day. He says, I'm, I'm new here, I'm only here for two years. Now what I do is, what I do, I try to undermine him. He says, I am working there two years. You did, I'm sure you did pay attention to what I stated uh, already earlier. I, I stated earlier that the man is employed here already probably since 2003, surely since 2004. And I know this information that she is less time than he is. So now I use a method that what I'm trying to do is because he says to me that he's working here for two years I try to to turn uh, his claim in a in like totally uncomfortable funny situation for him and I come from the from the corner that would undermine him in a way is when he says I'm here only for two years I said, but she is here, I think, already, I'm pretty sure I say, for at least seven years. So do you understand what I'm trying to say? If she is here seven years, if I make that kind of claim after he says that, that she is here, that he is here two years, and I say seven years, that make him look like a little funny in that sense. So I want to see how they react to that. No, the two are laughing now at this point. They know where I'm going. She says, seven years? She said, the guy is looking at me and he says, one year. Really? Okay, in this hotel between the two, between the two, I already said that it was a sex and rock and roll that went on. Um, during MK Ultra, lots of it. This too, with this too, I did find myself upstairs in this hotel once in the room, and it was happy. They had a happy time. I'm going to put it this way. And so, as I go my way, uh, I tell them that still I am joking. I'm humorous. I'm a really humorous person. 
uh, on this kind of stuff, this is basically how I answer on this kind of stuff. I mean, this is like, unless they totally, totally lied, which I don't think they did. I think they wanted me to do something like I'm doing right now. Um, if they if they really really totally lied then really something something seriously wrong with them but as of right now in my eyes even the stuff like this i gotta take from a humorous point of view i gotta i gotta laugh to that stuff and so when i live i tell them uh, that they're gonna they're gonna look for that and i and i and i tell both of them i said sure that would be really nice uh it's always oh let me see this oh. let me see so I say, oh, both of them are new. You both are new. Wow. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Um, more? I says, I tell them. Uh, thank you very much because of this kind of stuff you know one told me is two years and she is one year I said, oh thank you very much uh, you just need the third one I said you need just a third worker I said because in three is happier and now what I basically do is I indirectly remind them basically of what went on over there over the years when the two brought me and they have yeah they did the, the two did a uh, girl used to work on the rail and told me in just like I told wanted to be closer to home she actually is not from Ostrava but she is from the Ostrava region she is actually from nearby Ostrava okay so I can actually even tell you I can actually even give you that kind of information well, you know, stuff like this sometimes happens. Um, uh, things like this happen too. And that's why it's important that uh, basically that once one remembers the stuff like I do. Otherwise, they cut you out like this quickly. And you can, if you, if you can do the stuff like this and then you, you can, then you can turn your uh, what they believe will be a weakness into something completely different and this definitely definitely worked really really well okay so thanks for watching um don't say thanks for watching this video uh i am reminded people are supposed to investigate this stuff uh to get a hold of it start doing your stuff i'm not doing this to entertain people here with this stuff but yeah, again, thanks anyways, thanks for watching. I am gonna post the audio separately, basically, because I deem that it's gotta be the whole audio as a proof that, that you can have. I'm not gonna go and let the whole thing like this again. Okay, thank you, till next time. Both are laughing and I say thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Um, there was some sex going on in this hotel in Perrier, and there was all kinds of stuff going on, just as I've explained. She used to make way more money. I am gonna. I am gonna do it like this. She used to make way more money here as a as a rail attendant than what she eventually made afterwards in as a as a hotel receptionist. Oh this is exactly this is was her uniform. But really really was closer to her home she actually if i am not even mistaken about that kind of stuff now i'm actually even actually i'm really really pushing uh a look a little bit here then i'm gonna 
I am I think that she is from this side somewhere here from this area here it's not so close okay so that would probably be something like I don't even know it could be Karvina it could be I have no idea uh, not so close uh, not so close in that area okay in 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 I don't know Dubrava something like this Navi Bohumin uh, Javier or something like this 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 kind of area when compared to Ostrava that's all I want to say and uh, I actually probably could come with more information if uh, I would pay attention to but I got too much stuff to do thanks for watching this one again until uh, next time